What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Fashion Tip Fridays. For this week's episode, let's talk bomber jackets. These style jackets have a really rich history and has since then evolved into a really trendy and versatile piece in fashion. From the research that I've done, the bomber jacket originated during the World War I era and was worn exclusively by pilots. During that time, apparently, jets and planes were engineered in a way where they did not have properly enclosed cockpits. Therefore, the pilots had to wear something really puffy and really insulated in order to keep themselves warm when flying in higher altitudes. The original versions of this bomber jacket was made with really heavy duty leather and was insulated with fur lining inside. And so over the years, as technology and fashion changed and evolved over time, bomber jackets have just become much more available, more common, and was gradually no longer exclusive to pilots alone. And so that takes us to today, which is a little over a century later, bomber jackets and many other variations of it have now become a fashion staple to many walks of life. So what makes a bomber jacket? As I mentioned earlier, the bomber jacket used to be a very uniform design made with very heavy duty leather and the insulated fur inside. But nowadays, there have been many variations that have come out. Some of the hallmark signs that truly define what makes the bomber jacket are, one, they typically come with an elastic ribbed waistband. Two, they also typically come with matching tight wrist cuffs. And three, they usually have a standing collar or a flat collar to also match the wrist cuffs and the waistband. Generally also with the bomber jacket style, they typically come with that baggier, roomier feel. Although as of lately, there have been slimmer alternatives. So in case you didn't recognize this, the bomber jacket actually paved way for a lot of the more modern style jackets that you see nowadays. Some of these examples will include the varsity jacket or the letterman jacket, the souvenir jackets, some leather biker jackets, and that's just to name a few. So all those jackets might come with different colors and shapes and patterns, but if you really think about it, they all have a pretty common denominator with that matching wrist cuff, the matching waistbands, the kind of bigger, baggier, roomier fit, all inspired by the original bomber jacket. So personally, I have two different bomber style jackets in my wardrobe. The first one I have here is a very simple and basic black bomber jacket, and it's actually from Target. Very cheap and affordable, but still gets the look down. And the second one here is from Tommy Hilfiger. It's a nice brown jacket with a little more of a vintage, dad-like style. And it just looks a little classier compared to the other one. And so either way, the bomber jacket can be a very versatile piece and can be worn in a couple different ways. I thought I'd share some of my ideas on how I would personally style these jackets. The first look is a very casual look where I would just pair this bomber jacket with a t-shirt and some shorts. A perfect look for a casual summer afternoon and evening. This next idea is a little more of an athleisure look where you have the bomber jacket styled with a sports hoodie underneath, some sweat joggers, and some sneakers. Moving on to a little more of a semi-casual vibe, you can pair a jacket with a nice button-up shirt underneath and some nice formal chinos. One more idea is that you can really style this jacket up and go really formal with a nice dress shirt, a tie, a wool sweater, some slacks, and dress shoes for a full-on formal look. So what are your guys' thoughts on the bomber style jacket? Do you guys have any of these jackets of your own? And if so, how would you style them? This is only Bomber Jacket 101. There's so much more to learn about this trend and this style, but this video just barely scratches the surface. If you made it this far into the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more content in fashion and sneakers. Again, every other Friday, I do Fashion Tip Fridays where I discuss fashion tips, hacks, trends, and things of that sort. Be sure to check out my two previous episodes here and here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.